Hello, I am Mrs. O'Brien, and this video is about Class Activity 2T, Reasoning About Percent Tables. The intended audience is my Math 148 students. Lenny has received six boxes of paper, which is 30% of the paper he ordered. Six boxes of paper, 30%. How many boxes of paper did Kenny order? In our math drawing, I drew a rectangle broken into 10 equal parts, labeled three of them the six boxes, because 10%, 20%, 30%, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So the total is 100%, each little rectangle representing 10%, and I'm looking for the total. So if three parts is equal to six boxes, in order to figure out what one part is, I'd go 6 divided by 3 is 2 boxes. So each of the value of these is 2, which is our 10%, or one part. So finding the value of all of the boxes, or the total, would be 10 times 2 or 20 boxes represents the total amount ordered 100%. If we were to do this with a percent table, we would want to start with that we know 30% is equivalent to 6. To go from 30% to 10%, we multiply by 3. I'm sorry, we divide by 3. So I have to divide 6 by 3 which gives me that 10% is equal to 2. And to go from 10% to 100%, I multiply by 10. So 2 times 10 is going to give me 20. So 20 boxes is equivalent to 100%. And that's how we can use the percent table to do the same type of problem. Miss Jones paid $2.10 in tax on an item she purchased. The tax was 7% of the price. What was the price of the item? So in this problem, we know what 7% is, and we want to know what 100% is. So the easiest way to find this one is to actually go through 1%, because it is easy to go from 7% to 1%, we just divide by 7. So to go from $2.10, I'd also need to divide by 7 to find what 1% is. So 210 divided by 7 is going to give us 30 cents. So then to go from the 1% to the 100%, I would multiply by 100. And to go from 30 cents I also need to multiply by 100. This will tell me that I now have a value of $30 as my original price. So. And this one we did not solve with a strip diagram because it would be very difficult to draw a rectangle split into 100 equal parts. So it's much easier to use the percent table for this problem. In Green Valley, the average daily rainfall is 5 eighths of an inch. So I have shown that over here. If this whole thing is 1 inch, then shaded in blue is 5 eighths of an inch. Last year, the average daily rainfall in Green Valley was only 3 eighths of an inch. What percent of the typical average daily rainfall fell last year in Green Valley? Solve the problem with the diagram or a percent table or both. So let's start by looking at the diagram over here. And we'll notice that we have the 5 eighths represents all of the rainfall. So all of the rainfall would be 100%. That was the average daily rainfall was 100%. So that's what we're comparing the purple to. We want to know how much is the 3 eighths compared to the blue. So in order to do this, we would take our 100% we know 
and that is made up of one, two, three, four, five pieces. So 100% divided by five parts is going to give us each of those pieces is equivalent to 20%. So each of these is 20%. That means that over here I have one, two, three of those parts. So that's three parts times the 20% is going to give me a total of 60% for the rainfall for um, the Green Valley last year. 60% of what the average rainfall normally is, is what they obtained. So if we want to use a percent table to solve this problem, we're going to first need to look at that we have 100% is the 5 eighths of an inch. And we're looking to figure out what percentage corresponds with 3 eighths of an inch. So in order to find that, we want to first figure out what 1 eighth of an inch would rec represent. And then we can go up to 3 eighths. So in the percent table, I've written the fraction in two ways to make it easier to see. 5 eighths of an inch in words is 5 eighths. And 1 eighths of an inch in words is 1 eighths. So to go from 5 to 1, we know we would multiply by, or sorry, we would divide by 5. So we need to do the same thing over here. 100 divided by 5 is going to give me the 20%. Now we want to go from 1 eighth to 3 eighths, so that means we're going to multiply by 3. And 20 by times 3 is going to give us 60%, which means 3 eighths of an inch is 60% of the average rainfall. If one third of a cup of serving of cheese provides your full daily value, so one third of a cup of uh, full daily value, then what percentage of your daily value of calcium will be provided by three quarters of a cup of the cheese? Solve this problem with the aid of either a math drawing or a percent table or both and explain your reasoning. So we're starting with that we know 100% or a full serving is one third of a cup. We would like to find what percent of the full daily value is in three quarters of a cup. Since we know three quarters of a cup is more than one third of a cup, this tells us our answer is going to be greater than 100%. So one helpful thing might be to consider looking at what they would be if they had common size parts, since this is broken into three equal parts and this is broken into four equal parts. So as we write them with equal size parts, the one third of a cup becomes four, or is equivalent to four twelfths of a cup. And the three quarters of a cup is going to be equivalent to nine twelfths of a cup, as you can see in the picture I have below. So our 100% of the daily value is here, and if I examine this portion of it, what do you notice would be the value or the percentage of each of these pieces compared to the 
And here would be a little bit of a neater picture of the problem done out, showing the equivalent fractions and the percentage of daily value with the math drawing. Thanks for watching. Images and this activity came from our textbook, Mathematics for Elementary Teachers with Activities by Beckman.